Welcome back to the channel. We're in a lay-by and Suzanne has made me a ploughman's lunch on our way to Snowdonia. We're on our way to Beth Gellet and we're going to use it as our base while we tour Snowdonia. It's about a 170 mile trip. And we can see the mountains ahead and they can't come quick enough. And once they do, they just keep giving. We're soon alongside the River Colwyn, which runs from Beth Gellet to Port Maddock. So we just stopped off here between Port Maddock. What was it you called it, Suzanne? Port Maddock. Port Maddock. But now we're going to go over there to the, to the white water over there and have a look. Well, this is beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. Passing through Pont Aberglaslin, the river emerges from the gorge into the relatively flat agricultural land of Tremadoc and Porth Maddock. Well, we've arrived, Suzanne. What did you think of that journey? Yeah, some of it was a bit hairy. That last but couple of miles. I wouldn't have liked to have been driving in it, but it was lovely. It was. And we're at, and we're at, what's it called? Be Be Bed Galert. Bed Galert. That's how you pronounce it. Beautiful little place right inside the mountains. So we're just going to go and get checked in. We're here for tonight and uh, we're catching a ride. Suzanne has spotted a wasp nest. Oh, it does. It looks like a wasp nest. Well, this is home for the night. So, <coughs> so let's go and get checked in. Aren't you shutting this? Yeah. We won't be opening that window. So we're in this one, Suzanne, what you found, didn't you? The Royal yeah. Goat Hotel, which is okay. And it, it is in a beautiful spot though, look at this. So we're just gonna go down into the village and uh, have a little look, aren't we? Yeah. And a nice cold pint of San Miguel, hopefully. Ice cream parlor there. Oh, look at that, beautiful up there, isn't it? Yeah. Coach house. Lovely Pub there. there. Now this pub around the corner is, I was just explaining to Suzanne that when we were first looking this was the first thing that I looked at, not because it's a pub I just actually I typed in the name of this place and it came up and there it is there Where? There, Prince Llewellyn Oh yeah, I remember You remember now, yeah? Yeah And this is the water that I was telling you about here It's a beautiful little place isn't it? Look there's another pub with outdoor seating there. Are you intending getting something to eat this evening or? Mm. Very nice. Just have a look down the other side. Oh, sorry. Oops, I stood on Suzanne's toe. Right, so there's no room in that place just up there. So we're going to no, go back down here. Running in. The first pub that we saw. But I'm just taking in all this scenery at the moment. It's just yeah, lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. We decide to keep walking and see if we can find Gellert's grave. Mm -hmm. 
Right, Suzanne's found it, haven't you? Yeah, just reading about it now. So this is how the legend goes. The stone monument in the field marks the resting place of Gellert, the faithful hound of the medieval Welsh prince Llewellyn the Great. The story, as written on the tombstone, reads, In the 13th century, Llewellyn, prince of North Wales, had a palace in Beth Gellert. One day, he went hunting without Gellert, the faithful hound, who was unaccountably absent. On Llewellyn's return, the truant, stained and smeared with blood, joyfully sprang to meet his master. The prince, alarmed, hastened to find his son and saw the infant's cot empty, the bedclothes and floor covered in blood. The frantic father plunged his sword into the hound's side, thinking it had killed his heir. The dog's dying yell was answered by a child's cry. Llewellyn searched and discovered his boy unharmed, but nearby lay the body of a mighty wolf which Gellert had slain. The prince, filled with remorse, is said to have never smiled again. He buried Gellert here. Right, so that's it. That's the uh, legend, but apparently then, the son wasn't killed. Nope. The dog's not here. Right, so that was a lovely Scottish couple there that um, pointed out to us that the actual dog, or not statue the, of the, the statue dog. of the dog, is a bit further on so we're going to check that out anyway as i was saying i thought that the son the heir was killed but he wasn't was he no but even so prince prince llewellyn llewellyn um killed his dog and actually his dog <laughs> saved, saved his son him, yeah. yeah and then uh, so that's how that's how the legend goes and here we are in this uh and there's the dog. Yeah, surrounded by this wall. Not, not the original dog, but um, hello. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Well, whether it's a myth or not. Well, we actually it's met nice. up. We actually met up with a couple just near the pub, and they pointed us in the kind of right direction, and said uh, it's one of the kind of like it's one of those things that's made up. But I had heard of this uh, uh, thing before, you know, this before. Myth or not? It's nice to see it. It is, on, it isn't is nice it? to see it. Um, anyway, on a lovely evening like this in such a beautiful location, why wouldn't we? So if you do come to visit, over there is the little village of Beth Gellert, Bed Gellert, Beth, how is it pronounced? We do get it right eventually. Beth something. Beth Gellert. <laughs> and you just uh, follow that track all the way up here and this is apparently the uh, where the dog was buried and then if you carry on up the track just there and round the corner to where you can see the wall little walled enclosure over there that's where there's a bronze kind of statue of the actual dog if it's true who knows what do you think yeah it's true we're heading back into the village because Suzanne wants to find something that's really special for her. She wanted to find this plaque on a wall in the village. One of Suzanne's all-time favourite films was The Inn of the Sixth Happiness. The Inn of the Sixth Happiness was filmed on location in the Beth area in 1958. The film is set in China and stars Ingrid Bergman as an English missionary, Gladys Aylwood, who leads a group of children to safety following a Japanese invasion. Right, I'm just coming to check this out to see where it goes to and from, for maybe tomorrow. Right, so we're here, <clears throat> and it does go to Port Maddock, where we've been today and all the way up to Carnarvon. Right, now that's interesting. I think that's what we'll do. Beth Gellert Railway Station is a railway station on the narrow gauge Welsh Highland Railway in North Wales. The rebuilt station was officially opened by Lord Ellis Thomas on the 7th of April, 2009. Does it have train times? Here's a waiting room. The view. 
views around here are just stunning. Everywhere, stunning. So we would get the train from this side. Oh, it's a beautifully well-kept station, I have to be honest. It's lovely. But I think the trains have finished for the day, so I'll have to check it out online. But let me just take you around some of the scenery from this station. Absolutely beautiful. Well, that's it for this one. Join us on the next vlog when we visit Port Merion. And why don't you consider subscribing and ring that notification bell so that you'll be notified of future videos. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. We're Paul and Suzanne and we'd love you to join us on Our Days Out.